hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to champions league predictions match day four uh, return of the champions league first lot of games a lot to predict so guys i want to get straight down to this video so guys you know what to do to a big fun fun hope you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game i'm going to try and predict is wolfsburg versus Wolfsburg. wolfsburg doing you know a really good german team that i you know, did break maybe about 10 years ago. I think they have holded their own, you know, in this competition. I ain't, ain't really had a chance to keep, you know, up to date with games. But this far, I'll be trying to predict them, and sometimes they can be a bit funny. So, anyway, going up against this guy's Salzburg team. Don't know a lot about Salzburg. I know Brighton did sign a player, um, Marambu, who did score this weekend against Liverpool, what a good goal it was. Um, but yeah, it's a really good, interesting game. So I'm going to predict a draw, and I'm going to predict a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Malmo versus Chelsea. Now, I did go to the reverse leg up at Stamford Bridge. You can see the vlog up on my channel now. It was a very interesting game, very dominant performance by Chelsea on the game. And if you go back and watch the vlog, and I will make it appear at the end of this video, it really was a good dominant performance and i'll do that in the vlog so i ain't got no real choice about this one obviously i'll go for a chance win after watching the first leg and now i'll keep dominating the premier league and i'm gonna go for exactly the same what the last game was between these two and that was a four nil chelsea win my next one is dynamo kiev versus barcelona dynamo kiev doing okay in champions league they often do barcelona it's a club in trouble. You got one or Koeman been sat. Uh, all the trouble between Barcelona and one or Koeman during their defeat in the El Clasico. Barcelona is a club in trouble. This is the only competition that could save them. Really, in my expectations, I believe they're ninth in that Liga. So you know, it really is going to be a really uh, dominating competition for Barcelona if they're going to make an impact this season. Obviously, losing the last league on Messi. This is the game to me that Barcelona caretaker manager can really make a stance with Barcelona. Do I give it to Barcelona? I think I just might and go with a 2-1 Barcelona win. My next one is Bayern Munich versus Benfica. Bayern Munich, obviously big club in Germany. I think they've won the title quite a few times in Germany as well. If they have played to them, I've actually seen them play once. Uh, in real time in my lifetime I actually went to the game way back I sat in the Chelsea vlog again I think it's about 10 years ago where I went to Main United versus Bar Munich at Old Trafford I remember that Iron Robin volley that sent Bar Munich through and knocked United out that night and what a cracker volley it was just to explain I was up the other end of the stadium he hit it that hard you can hear the boom from the Iron Robin volley, so it was such a good goal. But yeah, so going forward with this one, I'm gonna have to predict a bone unit win. I do know a bit about Benfica, but you know, I've got to go with you know what's been happening. So I'm gonna go with a bone unit win, and I'm gonna go with a 3 1 bone unit win. My next one is Villarreal versus Young Boys. Young Boys. Did beat United in match day one. It's going to be an interesting event when young boys play Man United again to see if it was a fluke or whether it was, you know, just one of them things. But going up against Villa Real, it's going to be a very, very, very interesting game with the likes of, you know, Villa Real. I'm going to have to go with a Villa Real win, though, and I'm going to go with a 2 1 Villa Real win. My next one is Atlanta versus Manchester United. Atlanta did nearly beat Man United in the last uh, leg. 3-2 United won. But I remember being at Stamford Bridge at the time, looking at the scoreboard because they did show the half-time results and seeing Atlanta 2-0 up within the first 45 minutes at Old Trafford. As I said, Man United did come back and win it 3-2, but that's not the point. Can Atlanta do it in their own backyard? Watching United just against Tottenham, they did look comfortable, but only after they got one or two goals. Is this a turning point in Anagar Solskjaer's fortune? 
I don't know, but I'm gonna go for a Alain to win just about, and I'm gonna go with a 3 2 Alain to win, expecting the same thing to happen, obviously, on the opposite uh, way round. So the next one is Savinia versus LOCS. Um, don't know a lot about the two clubs, obviously, I know Syria, uh, Savinia, sorry. It is a very good club in Spain. I believe they played my local club once in a pre-season friendly. I didn't meet a couple of their fans, if I remember. But anyway, very good club. But I believe LOC, uh, uh, LOSC will win this game. Sorry. I'm going to go with a 2-0 LOC, LOSC win. <laughs> Got that in the end. The next one is Juventus versus Salzburg. Juventus, eh, it's going to be a very, very interesting game. You know, going up against Salzburg, who really do, you know, give this competition a really good go. I believe it's like five years in a row they've qualified for this competition. I could be wrong. Please don't correct me on that. But I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with a draw with this one. And I'm going to go, you know, no, actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go with a Juventus win. And I'm going to go with a 2-1 Juventus win. My next one is AC Milan versus Porto. AC Milan, obviously, a really good club in Italy. I ain't actually been there to see them myself. But I know they're a good club in Italy. And, you know, fair play to them. Going up against Porto. With me with Porto, I don't know really a lot about them. But I do know that Jose Mourinho was manager at some point before, I think it's before his Chelsea's first spell. But yeah, it's got to be a really interesting game. Two dominating uh, European clubs going up against each other. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a draw this time. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Real Madrid versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Shakhtar Donetsk are... You know, a really good club. Oh, yeah, again, they've been in this competition a few times over. Real Madrid is, I don't think, can they play at the Bernabeu yet? The last thing I know is still under construction, but as I said, that's the last thing I knew. I haven't really kept up to date on it. Obviously, more, fo more things going on in the football world. But So, I, I don't think it's going to change my mind anyway. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Real Madrid win. My next one is... Manchester City versus Club Bruges. Uh, Club Bruges, I think, got four points in this competition. Man City loses to Crystal Palace in this previous Premier League, though. Will that play a part? The only trouble is with Man City, they seem to go have that game where, you know, it don't happen. Fair enough. But then they come back with a win. So due to that, I'm going to go for a Man City win. And I'm going to go for a 3 nil Manchester City win. My next one is RB Larks versus Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain, obviously a good team in France. You know, the likes of Mane, we've got Messi now. Messi, ain't, what I've been reading and seeing and hearing, Messi has struggled to live up to his aim in France. Will that change this result against RB Leipzig? I don't think so. After I'm actually going to go for a draw because of Lionel Messi's trouble. I don't think it... Eh, do I... Eh. So I want to... Yeah, I'll go for a draw. I could see Paris and Ram winning this game though. But I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Liverpool versus Atletico Madrid. Liverpool doing okay in the Champions League. Doing okay in the league as well. Dropping two points against Brighton this previous weekend in the Premier League. Yeah, a lot of people saying it's their midfield with Atletico Madrid, Griezmann back in that Atletico Madrid squad as well. It's going to be a really interesting game between Liverpool and Atletico Madrid. This is a time for bounce back for Liverpool. Will they do it? I can't see them doing it. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Sporting Lisbon versus the Shittas. Now, don't really know about these two, if I'm being honest. I do know a lot about sport in Lisbon, but the shit task, not really. It's going to be a really interesting game, though. I'm going to go and just throw it out there, a 1-0 sport in Lisbon win. My next one is Borussia Dortmund versus Ajax. 
I appreciate Auckland doing okay in the Champions League, doing okay in Bundesliga as well. It's going to be a very interesting game in Germany uh, this Wednesday night. But what will happen? I believe uh, Borussia Dortmund will win this game and I go with a 3-0 win. My last one is Sheriff versus Inter Milan. Sheriff have picked up six points in this competition. I remember doing week one, I think I predicted them to win. You'd go back and check it out anyway on my channel. And I think, I can't remember who they beat. But anyway, I know they got two wins. I know they lost this game last time out. So for that, I'm going to go for an Inter Milan win. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Inter Milan win. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.